see the brainwashing of consumerism mm. what happens is mm. they they believe that three in one is better than their backyard coffee they think that cup of noodles is feeding your child because it has dehydrated vegetables you know um they believe that uh, okay lang let's have all this really heavy carbs or a lot of meat canned goods you know so it really affects people's health it, you are what you eat right mm -hmm. so they come with to me with all the metabolic syndromes all it's really crazy they have everything mm. high sugar and they're farmers in paradise and then so i said this cannot be we have to uh make you grow your own vegetables so how can we work as a community here we call it kauyagan in mm -hmm. let's call bayanihan that's the mm. spirit mm. right mindanao itself can really feed the country it's wow. not difficult Mm -hmm. It's not difficult at all, but we have mm -hmm. to help in mm -hmm. keeping that forest there, or else we have no chance. Hinaluban means mother tree of the rainforest mm. that sustains the cycle of all life. Wow. Yes. Wow. How do we stay afloat in a constantly changing physical world? Mastering our body and mind to transport us through this life Let's talk about strategies to navigate, survive, and thrive with our fellow humans. I am Josh Manaharan, a physiotherapist and a lifelong learner from Manila, Philippines, bringing you conversations about growth and happiness. This is Adaptive. When I first heard of the word Hineleban, first of all, it was a very strange name to me and later on in the chat we'll find out the meaning the deep meaning of this word um, but I was really inspired by the story of this couple who moved to Bukidnon one of the provinces in the southern tip of the Philippines which is Mindanao it was so inspiring how they were able to grow a community you know that focuses on sustainable farming and with high respect for the indigenous tribes, their culture, and um, empowering them as partners, you know, in, in a whole enterprise that is sustainable. It is my honor to introduce to you today such an amazing human being representing Hinduluban Foundation, Tuminugan Farms, and a beautiful family, Miss Renee Araneta Ferrain. Good morning, Renee. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm. Um, I would say I'm. I'm starting to be well adjusted to everything, to the changing world. Uh, what about you? Well, for here in in the farm, when you're living here, it's sort of like the same. You feel kind of isolated here, anyways. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But n never alone. You know, we have family right. and neighbors mm -hmm. and and God and nature. So mm -hmm. it's very, mm -hmm. very, um, it's still, it holds me in a warm embrace, you know, living. Right. So um, I really have a lot of heart for those that have to be confined in a small mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they've done the most that they could do, but sometimes people yeah. really reach out to each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is what I'm doing. Yeah, um, well, I'm happy. I mean, it looks like you're in a really nice and serene environment. I see a lot of nature in your background. So, yeah. so how long have you been in Bukidnon? My second marriage is with John Perrine. He's a very mm -hmm. fine gentleman, mm -hmm. farmer, um, much older than me, actually. And mm -hmm. we met 16 years ago, so we've been married for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was really attracted by his humanity, his compassion, and mm -hmm. the fact that he's gorgeous, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Should be a factor. Yeah, it's and his heart is big, yeah. So I got really attracted to that, and we uh, soon married, and he brought me here to Mindanao. I've never been to Bukidnon. Mm -hmm. I'm from Manila. Bukidnon is sort of like 
one of the last frontiers of mm. being, there's still a lot of nature mm. at the same right. time not to preserve right, right. Mm-hmm. not to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah okay um well i guess you got into could can we say this is like a social entrepreneurship project is this this yeah. what you do classify yeah called transformational business partnership it's actually okay. uh transform the landscape the mm. life of the people, and the mm-hmm. way we do business right yeah. okay how how is it going so far well um we we've had founded the foundation hinuluban foundation in 2006 okay so, and we want mm-hmm. we're looking for a name mm-hmm Um, the primary purpose of um, Hinuluban is to reforest the mountainsides of mm-hmm. Hino, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't know if you um, remember grade three hydrological cycle. It explains there the importance of rain and how it's actually produced, right? Naturally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yep. here we're um, an island nation. We have 7,000 plus islands. So mm-hmm. during the heat of the day, the water from the sea evaporates and mm-hmm. wind actually blows inland, inland, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. what, it's still even hot air, you know, but when you reach a temperature differential of at mm-hmm. least 10 degrees, there's condensation that starts happening and that's the forest for you. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then you have the condensation, it gets darker and darker, and then it just rains. That's why it's called the rainforest. Mm. So um, the, if you didn't have the trees there, the forest trees, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Already, you, know, you, you fly over the entire Philippines, you look down, you think it's green, but right. it's all coconut grass. It'll wash down all that exposed soil. Mm. Which, enter ro- rolling down the river and then our sea mm-hmm. so everything um on the river life and the sea life will also die so that that that's like a dead philippines right yeah mm-hmm. yeah so you know in the 1800s the late 1800s the philippines was 75 percent forest then okay 75 that's a lot a lot of forest primary forest right mm-hmm. so you would have all the uh, animals flora fauna orchids mushrooms everywhere right mm-hmm. fawning in every second and uh, <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> sorry anyway, so good so good but um in 1970 we were, we were 35% malam <gasps> yeah What? 1970 that's the year i was born mm. So, guess how much percentage it is right now? 21. 10%? 10, right? Yeah, a lot of people say 10, 15. Is it? Okay. Less than one. No way. Okay. And we need the watersheds in this country because we're an agricultural country, right? It's not all about oh, no. cities. It's more the mass majority of people here are farmers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and if you don't have the watershed, you don't have rain, you don't have water. So my husband, who was into uh, agriculture for a long time, he noticed mm. rivers were actually diminishing in, in size. Size. Oh, But no. Okay. Crops here used to be just rain fed. 98% of our rice are imported, which is so sad. In Luzon, they used to grow three crops of corn mm. a year. Now it's only right. one. So the food security mm. is really the issue of our country, right? So we're uh, importing 98% of our rice because uh-huh. we can't grow it anymore. Yeah. Water, right? The corn oh, wow. the south, the corn that we um, grow here mm. actually gets exported to some other Asian country and then it's returned here as hog, hog feed. Ah. Uh. And so we're not even making pakinabang sa proseso ng... Ah. Uh, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We added value to the, the farmer. So it's a very broken uh, system. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we're so like the whole world is so uncertain, right? Right. And yeah. Being here in this farm right now during the COVID times, I am food secure. We are food mm. secure. So mm -hmm. I I I'm not insecure, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of anxiety comes from insecurity. Yeah. And the most basic things are like food, food. right? Of course, water, then um, clothing and a roof clothing, on the shelter yeah mm -hmm. so those are the mm -hmm. most important things you can um, really simplify your life with that mm -hmm. you don't need to look for happiness because you're you're content you know you have mm -hmm. have it all you don't need a Porsche yeah. happiness is being secure right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. knowing um, that you're loved and you can belong in a certain community you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. These are two very, very important things for our mental health. Mm -hmm. And so food security adds um, confidence to the nation. And we, right. we can, bahala kayo mag-gera dyan. <laughs> secure, di ba? Basta may pagkain kami. <laughs> Wait, my dog went up the... Hello! <laughs> so that's why we were, you know, and then... Uh, okay, so it was rain-fed before all the agricultural mm. production, and there was less forest and less rain. So they had to get water now from the river, mm. or pump or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And then after that, irrigation na lang. Irrigation, yeah. Well, mm. after that, parang you can't na, you know, wala nang too big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be free-flowing because we're surrounded by water seas. It doesn't make sense, really. When you started to realize how broken the system is, how did you take that? Well, 100% of what I'm saying is actually from my husband. So, of course, okay. just, you know, talking to him all the time, every day. Mm. And mm. him having had lived here in, mm. in Bukidnon, he was born here, but he was mm. in, he came back in 1975. And mm. Uh, first agricultural um, endeavor and right. it was good you know but now he sees the difference and he says because the trees are cut mm -hmm. the trees are cut so I go yeah but isn't Mindanao usually like this right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gando. Wow. tropical oasis right super super uh -huh. that's the way I grew up in Manila Mindanao's like that the For you, yeah, me, in your head. Uh -huh. Him, until he showed me his picture of the, the house, where the house mm -hmm. of uh, the parents. Um, a before picture, nineteen seventy five picture, and right. it was completely barren. Okay. Emptied out, you know. I didn't know who that was, and then the only thing that grows after with all the sun exposure and all that is kogon, kogon mm -hmm. grass. <laughs> Not rainforest at all. Hardly any forest left. Sierra Madres, mm. now. And then, so anyways, we were, um, I said, let's let's plant trees, mm. right? Mm. We're ready to meet around here. So from zero trees, all of a sudden, this is forested. And because of that, the biodiversity just came back from here to market and led a deer in our farm. There's, there's lots of it. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah, and then here, just like my dog was here sit, uh, sleeping in the lanai, and then he she jumps and gets a um, he's she's a Rhodesian Ridgeback, and she's such a hunter, and mm -hmm. then jumped and then she killed the civet cat. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> we have that. We have that here. <laughs> we have bats, kabogs oh. everywhere because it's full of like baleta trees with figs or mm -hmm. around. Manzanitas that the birds like. Mm. So UPLB dean of forestry, and then he became, um, I think, consultant to the Philippines for reforestation. He came here, and John okay. showed uh, before picture, and he couldn't believe it. He said, "John, how did you do it? Wow. Because, you know, we did an audit of the Philippines. That seventy-seven million dollars that was spent since nineteen seventy is all mm -hmm. gone. Nothing survived." Because wow. 
to the tree seedling in the kogan, the kogan root system. Get all uh, right. The new seedling and it just dies. So sayang lang. Overpower. Okay. Yeah. So right. how did you do this? So John goes. You know, actually, he never thought of how to do it because whatever way he tried to do it before actually failed. Mm. Okay. Mm. But um, there was this one parang pastor beata from the Baptist church that introduced to John this mm -hmm. tree-like shrub called Caliandra. Caliandra, okay. Yeah. It's a, you know, it, it has nice little leaf fronds and it has either red or white um, tasseled flower. So the mm -hmm. bees, um, the birds drink the nectar. Mm -hmm. uh, the leaf litter becomes fer fertilizer because right. uh, because the it, it's a leguminous plant. It actually, mm. you know, gets NPK or nitrogen, phosphorus. Okay. A lot of it, like 300% more than any fertilizer that you can mm. buy in the market. <laughs> we had it Okay. Yeah. Mm. Not only that, it comes with everything else in the, in the soil, right? So, for example, right. all calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, whatever. It's all, all the nutrients. Oh, wow. Fertilizing the soil and then it forms this canopy on top of the cogon so if this is the cogon it forms a can canopy really fast and right. cogon is sun mm. to grow if there's no sun it's gonna die back so oh. it's like an umbrella and then the cogon dies wow it takes two years though but still i mean start now oh. right? i and know that he just took out um every other caliandra which is okay because it's fast and renewable Mm. You cut it. You can also use it for firewood. So, mm. Sorry, the IPs here, they actually save about 500 pesos a month on firewood because of the caliandra. It's free, right? Wow. And the deer like it. You can feed it to livestock. You can put it in mm. silage, you know. So it's very, very useful. And, ano po ba yung mga, ano, madami? Ah, so, so basically, it also takes care of your um how you manage for the next two years and you weed ng weed or herbicide ng herbicide. Mm. Right, right. The environment and sign lang the labor. Right. So he explained it to him. So he brought like a team here from UPLB, like three mm. um uh you know people doing theses and then right. three professors and they stayed here for three months. <laughs> No way. <laughs> Research. That's that bird, that bird watch. They slid the bat, they got a sample of the bat, they counted the bats. Like, mm. they're like scientific. And they recorded how Caliandra and each, in the progression of its life, how it actually helps bring mm. up the forest. You know? So it's not, in, it's not invasive in a bad sense because it also self-propagates, right? Wow. So anyway, so uh, we are confident enough to with this technology to try to educate the people. You know, mm -hmm. I had educated by by John's experiences, and then if if uh, my heart was was moved, I think the indigenous people who live around the forest, the buffer zone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they would have the same heart too, because it actually helps everyone so i said i think we'll be blessed by this it's just respect mm. who they are the indigenous people mm. you know when john moved here 1975 he there was no neighbors there were no neighbors it was just a not indigenous people mm. americano with the high piece like <laughs> we ha we said we have to engage with them and let's see how we can work together and they know naman John, so they came here and then they said, mm. well, that's your vision. You should name your foundation Hinuluban. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so hard to say it. He, yeah, 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 yeah. No. It's actually all the E's <laughs> are U's in the Binuki. Oh. Hinuluban. Mm. Yeah. And um, okay. that's the easiest way to pronounce, to explain how to say it. Because it kind of rolls back the second Hinulu. It's kind of yeah. yeah way of mm -hmm. anyways mm -hmm. so you know when they give it to you it's sort of like god sent right mm -hmm. and like what does that mean and then he they said 
you know, they believe in a uh, creator God. So we have something in common already, right? Mm. Mm. And that, and they have so much respect for nature and their customs and traditions mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. everything is about nature. So we, we can, we see things eye to eye, right? Mm-hmm. And they said that um, their God creator, his name is Magbabaya. Our, ours is, you know, Yahweh, right? Mm-hmm. Magbabaya. That's the biggest. And mm-hmm. then here on, on earth, there's the God of the, the forest, the trees, the God of the okay. sun, the, God of the moon, mm-hmm. like that. So, um, but they're not like God's gods. They just know that Magbabaya, the creator, is in charge of all the spirits here. Right. For mm-hmm. us, it's nature, right? It's mm-hmm. uh, weather. Um, right. So, when everything's in sync, it's super symbiotic that everything just works. It's like the paradise, right? Mm. So imagine walking to paradise. You don't have to think about the ka- ano kakainin ko mama. Ha, pipitas ka lang. Pipitas lang. Yeah, yun lang. Mm. And then you're munching the whole day, and oh, may extra. <laughs> <laughs> wild hog katra I mean abundance, right? Abundance in the, yeah. So that's paradise, and that's the relationship that God wants for mm. us. Mm. It, no maganda. So we are called to be stewards of His creation. So Hinaluban means mother tree of the rainforest mm. that explains the cycle of all life. Wow. Yes. Wow. If you cut that mother tree, everything just... Implode just, or something. Yeah. Mm. Implode, explode, everything. Mm. We don't work with nature. And it's... Mm. I, you know, we don't even need um, some kid, German kid, to tell us that. We should know that. <laughs> Greta, what's her name? so glad. I mean... <laughs> I'll be like that. <laughs> we should all be warriors for nature. That's our only hope. Yeah. Like, yeah that's our security. Our <clears throat> where we feel love. We are, this our home. Mm. Yeah. Well, wala na tayong ibang home. Right. So, what yeah. do you think are the barriers? What do you think are the barriers? Why? Why do? Why does this mentality? Why is it only confined to certain people and it's not, you know, widespread? Greed, pride, mm. self-loathing. I mean, mm. that's, you know, those uh, attitudes, right, actually is so inward that you don't mm. think about, you don't, there's no love. There's no... Right. There's no, Only me, 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 me. Yeah. So how can we work as a community? Here we call it Kauyagan in mm-hmm. Manila. It's called Bayanihan. That's the mm. spirit, right? Mm. We always have to make chica chica. We're always together. Mm. I mean, we mm. make we sleep together, the mm. oh, mm-hmm. Everything's about togetherness, and that's what makes a person whole. I've missed my right. <laughs> In like a oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of which, um, in terms of you personally, and you've already touched touched on mental health also. Do you also have bad days, and if what? ever. How do you manage? Kind of like, you know, if if you're very aware of the, the spiritual sense of life, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and talking back in paradise, the bone in paradise. And mm. God just gave us one, one suggestion lang, ma'am, please don't eat from that tree, right? <laughs> so there's the, wis- the tree of wisdom and the tree of life, like Hinaluban. But the tree mm-hmm. of wisdom is like, I know better. I know. Mm. It's like, I know it all. Mm. I can Google that. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it's, it, 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 it's all connecting. Our, yeah. Our attitude right now is very reflective of Adam and Eve's, right? Mm. Blaming by each other. It, go, it, go, it, go, it, go, it, it stems from pride, greed, and wanting the self. Uh, you know, recognition or whatever. Mm. It's that's the pandemic of this country. 
I'm now understanding the whole story and it's really so nice even to to understand what Hinduluban means, right? And, um, you know, the background and knowing that this is possible, that sustainable living is possible. Yes. Right? But, you know, um, we this farm that we live in right now is uh, like the research and development, all our models mm. are here for the, for the livelihood components and for reforestation and for food security. So mm-hmm. the indigenous people use this as a, a playground, a, mm. um, what do you call this, to learn, right? So they come here and they see aganon pala because they're more visual, they're very creative. So yeah. you can't give them SOP like this. <laughs> like this uh-huh. manual. Some of them kaya nila, right? But some of them, you know, no. So mm-hmm. they're very much into the soil. Uh, and the when you're yeah, there, yeah. I'm teaching them. Um, explaining why this is important, um, you know, in the uh, production. Right. Then they get it. So, and then we do tours here on Saturdays now. So, uh, socially distanced tours. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a two hour walking, talking, exactly like what we're doing right now, but more of visiting each area. So, mm-hmm. when we had this um, compact, with the seven tribes of Bukidnon, which mm-hmm. John helped unite, you know, and it took him mm. about three years. And the wow. first time we all gathered together here in the farm, it was so nice. They were all wearing their their um, tribal wear. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, and they were dancing and telling stories. And one lady, that uh, Bai, she said that, you know, the first time... <laughs> God, this is the first okay. time that ano, um, we actually gathered together. We're not fighting for uh-huh. immunity. I thought 100 years na yata, they were seen wow. like And then they hugged each other. What That scene is like galing. That, that's one, like one of the happiest days of my life. Oh, for sure. Hugging and crying, mm. you know. Mm. And it was just so beautiful. So I, it's very inspiring. So they became mm. a partners. We see them as equals. We don't tell them what to do or whatever. It carries mm. it together. It's a relationship that you wow. have to work, work on. Mm. So mm-hmm. um, we have to understand their customs, their traditions. Um, what crops do they grow? What do they want to grow? What you mm. know, your experience? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So we had this listening ear, which is called participatory cultural cultural impact assessment. PCS. Mm-hmm. So this is a okay. that we put together. That's our methodology of engaging with the um, indigenous people. IP. Wow. Yeah. And so they were the ones that said we need food security and mm. uh, livelihood to, you know, food security is just to eat, but livelihood, you know, you need for electricity or whatever expense mm. you have, you know. And mm. um, of course, to, we help them with that, but we partner with reforesting. Right. Mm-hmm. So all the mountain uh, buffer zones of the mountain sides here, they live in a slope like this. Mm-hmm. So we have to uh, adapt farming technology that's regenerative, um, mm-hmm. conservative, and permanent. So that's the three mm-hmm. methodologies in a nutshell how we approach farming with them. Right, right. So because of that, we have our Hindu. There we go. <laughs> Arabica, you can get all of our products on hinalubanstore.com. Okay. Yeah. And, and this is the advice. Ah, oh, okay. Super food. Mm-hmm. So um, we had this tested. It's actually three times more nutritious than um, quinoa. What? Yeah. And okay. It's really nice. So it's local. Okay. My story here was that we had a very long, extended, uh, dry season, mm-hmm. and I was asked by the Tagalowanan women to come and check their banigs because all their crops died, and they had banigs that they they wanted to sell. And I went there. They're beautiful. It's made out of this grass. They dry it. Mm. They dye it, and then. They mm. weave at night. They're called night uh, dream weavers. So when oh, they weave, okay. yeah, when they weave like that, 
they see your face. Let's say they're doing this. Parang they have your oh. face na in mind. Very yeah. romantic, right? Yeah, and yeah, they yeah, can't yeah. to sustain the family. So a lot of food because mm. of the drought. So um, I said, what but you grow here? And then they said, corn, cassava, or and aglay. And mind you, we were in aglayan malay balay bukid noon. So that's the original. Huh. Oh, <laughs> so where it came from? It's aglay, yeah. So they said, this is our um, inheritance from our forefathers. This is an... Mm. Bala, they were saying this is heirloom seed. Mm. You know, this is indigenous. It's not for the, right. you know, lowland farmers because it's upland rice. Okay? Mm. And it's theirs. It's their seed. It's And they do use it in a lot of cultural, um, like, rituals, festivities. Mm-hmm. They used to make the wine with the ag- aglai. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so they they were so happy to give me seeds. I said, please, you know, try it at home. So we ate it every which way, um, you know, just steamed, like steamed rice, or it could uh, be a roscaldo, but then you get to the paella and the jambalaya mm. and the mm. andame. It's so versatile. Mm. It's so versatile. And the nutrition is three times more, right? Wow. The thing with rice, when you eat it, but after lunch, parang you feel so heavy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. you eat two, three subos, you want ten. <laughs> diba? yeah. But the glucose of that is very high. So you get yeah. a spike, and you drop, and then you get the mud. And if you're not expanding that energy, it actually turns into fat. Yeah. Right. So, madami tayo with like the bill bill on the side, the diba? This country. <laughs> <laughs> Nutrition, this, yeah. this is the rice for all the diabetics of this mm. country. It's not only gluten-free, but it's low glycemic index. So, mm. meaning, after you... This one, actually, you just have half a cup. And you're full now. You don't want to eat anymore. Mm. It's really filling. And right. you know, all the nutrition it's getting from the enzymatic um, soil of Bukidnon, it goes up to the shoot. It looks like corn. Mm. But instead of cup, it's a tassel. It's so pretty. They, oh. And the field looks like fields of gold. It's so beautiful. Wow. Very okay. dreamy with the wind and all that. And then you harvest those beads. And it looks like rosary beads. That's how it wow. looks like. Wow. It's okay. Like job. That's why it's called jo- Job's Tears. Very romantic. Uh. Uh, so, okay. um, I didn't want to, anyways, I just loved it. And I said, let's grow this in the farm. So we just had about two or three hectares lang muna. I think two. Mm. And then the, the March of 2016, after the drought here, it was the, all over the country. The Bureau of Agriculture Research comes to our farm and asks, Renee, can we meet with you? I'm like, okay, mm. come on. It's like, what can I do for you? And they said, do you still have a lie here? Because the bar calls it Adlai, A-D-L, but it's really Adlai. Mm. Hmm. You still have Adlai here? I'm like, yeah, we're about to harvest. Like, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Uh, I'm like, why? And they said, that's the seed bank of the Philippines, this plot. Don't eat it. You have to share it to the farmers. I'm like, sure, no, no. Yeah, of course, it's not mine. I was like, wow. Okay, so I said, can we give it back to the indigenous people? Oh, uh, Okay. Not to Hacienderos, hello, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, You have to be very sensitive about that, right? So give it back to them and they started growing it. And we just bought it back and then processed it properly so that you won't have oh. you know, this quality control, right? Mm-hmm, so we mm-hmm. the actually process it and package it here. Same with the coffee. So wow. our thing is that um, since we grow it with them and then uh, we... We, we process them sell. So, wala na mga traders and middlemen in between. So, it we all, more of the yeah. product goes to them. Right. It's need, direct. Need to process. That's it. But mm. more of the profits goes to them. Wow. Right? So, Amazing. They're so happy. Grabe. They're like, mm. um, when I go to visit them and they hug me and they're, Mom, nakabili na kami ng ganyan. Or, Mom, I... Uh, my kids in school, the other farmer has mm. the other farmer, <laughs> Yeah, the other farmer has 
Mm. Three habal habals. I do not wait. Mm. He's five habal habals and two motorcycles. And then he has wow. his business na. Double na yung house niya. Like that. So, oh. yeah. And then, anyway, so those are the two. But mm-hmm. um, we have other health products. Everything, but you work with nature, though. Nature tells you what's important. Yeah, corn mm-hmm. syrup. Right? Okay, what is this? And you take one tablespoon of this, your blood sugar will normalize. Mm-hmm. Google it. Yakon. Yakon. Don't mm-hmm. even look at the Hinaluban brand. Just <laughs> scientific. Yakon. Amazing. It works fast. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. natural becomes very sweet. It tastes like molasses. Or ah, okay. syrup like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one a day, it actually balances. And then for depression, turmeric. Oh. 100% turmeric. There's mm-hmm. no added because it's so strong na the the curcumin levels which is the active ingredient. So mm-hmm. the, um this is 8 to 12% curcumin. Okay. Anything you buy around the world is 3 to 5% only. So mm. must must powerful to, right? I take 6 a day and I I really think my skin and my energy, you know, it, it's a natural blood thinner. Mm. Right? My pores are closed, right? The glue, glue, they, they say. Mm. And then it's an antidepressant. Mm. Right? So, you mm-hmm. know, before I used to drink a lot. The yeah, 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 yeah. You know, entertaining. And so this would not give me a hangover. <laughs> so, the next day, your head's pounding. Like, <laughs> Everything's flowing naturally with all the nutrition, wow. and, you know, around your body. That walang mm. arthritis, walang headache, walang gum disease, walang pimple, walang cancer, mm. anti-inflammatory. Mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm. And then, of course, because you have the birds, you also have the bees. So we have honey, hundred wow. percent raw. So I use this um, for my drink. This is my drink: honey, turmeric, and apple cider. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's really cleansing. Anyways, mm-hmm. and not last but not least, this saved the whole barangay from oh. um I fed them adobo and okay. they all got diarrhea. Oh no, oh no, my god. I thought I killed the barangay. I wanted to shoot myself literally. I said, mm. Dito na <laughs> you know what I mean? All the kids were chewing huh. and vomiting oh. from fun to 95, 98 years oh. old. And I I said, oh, let's send the truck, the cow truck, uh-huh. and just put them there. Parang bodies uh-huh. that bring them to, to the hospital. So hospital. Get like that. Imagine what kind of a bill we oh, had, right? Okay. A whole yeah. guy. And um, he... The John said, No, I know of this nurse that you know they do activated charcoal. Oh, okay, so okay. They went up so one whole tablespoon per like maybe this much, but heaping tablespoon uh, like that, right? And okay, you just drink it, and what it does is it absorbs all the bacteria okay. in your stomach, so uh-huh. whether good or bad bacteria, but at that time it's gonna don't take it every day, it's only when you have food poisoning. Yeah. Let's save the whole barangay. Wow. Yeah. So we said, <laughs> we should carry this because, anyways, health is wealth, the ba? Let you mm. have medicine. And then Genesis mm. also said that, then God said, then he said that, I've given you all the fruit, the seed, mm. and the leaves for medicine. So follow naman what he says, the ba? Mm. So when you're eating, you make it like half all vegetarian, right? And then mm-hmm. have your aglai or some mm-hmm. other non low low glycemic index carb, like mm-hmm. let's say purple yam, sarapian, sweet potato, right? Come mm-hmm. on, that mash it, mm-hmm. mash potato, be creative. And that's mm-hmm. your gamay carb. Because if it's complex, mm-hmm. yan lang you need very little. If mm-hmm. it's ano yun isa? complex and simple carb. So the simple, simple yeah. You need a lot of it because, yeah. you know, then your the bad sugar and your pancreas have to overwork and it's not good for the body. 
um, mm-hmm. some people even have allergies to gluten, right? Like mm-hmm. in bread, pasta, that don't mm-hmm. have that kind of fun, right? Mm-hmm. So take care of your body, listen to your body, right? right. So, and then after um, that, the next one is you can have meat if you want to, but kamay lang or little lang, right? Konti mm-hmm. lang. <laughs> don't make it like a whole steak, though. I love steak, but <laughs> yeah. Self control, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what yeah. I'm getting from you is is really sustainable living or sustainable. Yes. It's a sustainable society. We were given we were given everything that we need to in this world to make to to live. You know, for for years and years and generations. And it's just greed. It's just greed that you know in standing in the way of. A sustainable society, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. dapat love, we just, we have to have compassion towards each other. Mm. We're all equals right. in God's eyes. We're all children of God. We all mm-hmm. deserve to be long and to be uh, taken care of. Right? He's mm-hmm. given us all the means. Mm-hmm. We just have to follow His ways. I mean, that time when they had, they did that. How old was you know Abraham or? Mm. All those characters in the Bible, they used to die mm. 800 years old. I mean, why mm. the but anyways, it's just, mm-hmm. you know. And it's so it's interesting long. that uh, definitely, um, definitely you're coming from a very Christian uh, background, right? And yeah. it's, so na- it's so interesting that you are able to coexist with a community that has a different belief system and... Uh, you know, how, how was that a challenge for you or was it easy to kind of accept that, oh, there's, they have different, but you can see the correlations also. No, it's so fun. It's so funny because they have their equivalent. We have our equivalent. And yeah, how was you, that for you? You know what? I was really surprised because, you know, living in Manila, you go from aircon house to aircon mm. car to aircon office, you know, and then it's all closed. And you're not actually mm. connected to the people right. down. You know, at least that's how I I was not mm. connected with the people, with the anguish and the pain and and the unfairness. I wasn't connected. It's mm. hard. But here, actually, they were the ones that taught us because you know all of us come with a sense of pride. Now I'm going to help you. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, uh, I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're wow. fine you guys don't corrupt us you have to understand our culture right mm, wow. go with our vibe don't make us kasila, <laughs> like that and it's fun to learn you know there uh, i don't know you have to check out wawai sawai's uh republic of bukidnon wawai sawai wawai uh, sawai and just go through all their songs it's crazy Okay. I mean, the acoustic drums and the mm. bamboo flute and the mm. kuchapi. I mean, it's like the mm. best concert all the time. Wow. Yeah, it's like, uh-huh. I mean, second to sting. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I would say paradise, no definition of paradise. And it's not just paradise for a vacation kind of setup. It's actually... Deeper than that, it's really life. Um, it's harnessing, life. you know, harnessing nature, giving it back to nature, respecting, you know, people who were there before you. Um, so, what, what, how do you envision Kinilaban? Like, what is the end goal, if any? There's a lot of work to be done. Um, there are current primary forests that are still standing that we need, not mm. only oxygen but water um, mm. and we have to protect that so that's one mm. and then um, teaching them we, we are trying to set up a school um, right. teaching the importance of the forest as much as we're also learning from them so it's mm. sort of like an integrative kind of um, farm school like we're teaching each other and right. we're already ATI certified, but we need to build the school, parang green, mm. green school, green village of Bali, like right. that. because we uh-huh. all right. with their bamboo. You get uh-huh. the vibe, okay? So yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and where people can also come and be, and 
not only witness but also understand the plight and what Hinalaban really, really mm. means. It's not about products. Mm. This is really mm -hmm. helping them, but the right. thing is, we're doing this together. You don't just support the the uh, our cause or their livelihood, mm. but honestly, you make a promise. I'm going to plant so many trees a week. You know, what's 100 pesos, right? I think mm -hmm. um, on www.hinaliban.org, you go to the donate page and then there's ways that you can donate Globe Rewards. Mm. You have, so you don't even have to spend. You have mm. points. Just use spend. up your points. Yeah. That was the first CSR of Globe here in Mindanao. I think. Oh, okay. So we've planted so many trees with, with just that alone, Globe Rewards. But the other one is, um, um, what's the other one? Uh, you can gift a tree. So, mm. Kunyara, your mom has a birthday and she, she's it's COVID. You can't see her. She's in the States. Mm. Send her a card, a card, an e-card that you planted a tree. For her. And then take a picture of the tree, right? Uh -huh. Seedling planted. And yeah. it's with GPS coordinates. So you can actually check it out. <laughs> oh, right nice. Yeah. And I planted you a tree, mama. Happy birthday. You know, that's forever, right? And then while wow. you're eating, that's nice, the right? And then wow. if it's not a card, because that one made graphics and you have to do personal, blah, blah. This one is just to plant. You want to plant one, mm. it's a box. It's like a hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Yeah. To plant a tree, right? And yeah, then you, yeah, yeah. You tell you, basically, it's just saying to be transparent always. It's like everything's marka. Like when you buy 100 pesos, your trees go, are here it's, in this block. Right. Right. And wow. it's going to be planted. So if we're lacking time, then it's like it's going to be planted. If it's already planted, mm. you can see it, right? Because right. it's just me and uh, Google Earth, right? Wow. Yeah. So amazing. And, yeah, we, 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 the Lanao has a huge forest as well. So um, mm. my husband, who loves to go where nobody goes, you know, he mm. made friends with the MILF. And wow. yeah, Commander Bravo. So we also have a commitment on that side, the Muslim side. Mm, so right. that's the entire Mindanao because we're supposed to be the food basket of the Philippines, right? Mm, and, okay, yeah. We have a friend here that does food distribution in Manila. It's not enough, he said, the production oh, for wow. to Manila. It's not enough. So mm -hmm. even if we don't service Manila, Mindanao itself can really feed the country it's wow. not difficult mm -hmm. it's not difficult at all but we have mm -hmm. to help in mm -hmm. keeping that forest there or else we have no chance your children won't have a chance your grandchildren won't have a chance to buy it's really overwhelming you're giving off a feel-good kind of vibe here and it's really changing the world literally you know it's not even in a small scale you're able to replicate it to the community, you know, joining and joining the tribes. I can just imagine no, parang such a surreal um, experience yeah. and you contributing to that personally. I'm sure it's also very empowering, you know, as a whole person. Not just me, huh? It's, I cannot take credit at all. I'm just... No, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole, as a part of it. We have a great team and a great family that Got fight. It. That we fight mm. for it, talaga, and we listen mm. and to make everything fair. I mean, it's also our name mm. at stake. You mm. know, we don't want um, any doubts from anyone. We want mm. people to trust that we will plant the tree. We're doing Definitely. the fair thing, business partnering mm -hmm. with them. You know, right. we're, mm. we're very adamant of being transparent always. Good. And yeah. it's still working, right? You don't have to be greedy. You know, it's still going to come back to you. You yeah. know what I mean? It's still sustainable. <laughs> Got it. Because <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's what the mentality is. What I've observed, you know, I've also lived in the Philippines my whole life. And the, there's two mentalities, right? It's the, our mindset of scarcity and abundance. Mm. And mo most people are like, like going back to the early part of our conversation, it's all like me. Mm. So I'm going to take advantage of all the, what I can because this is only what I have. Versus those who thrive in an abundant mindset wherein we kind of share, we collaborate, we, you know, we work together and that's still working. 
and even more you can even get more rewards i would say yeah mm -hmm. definitely you know when you work with mother nature it gives mm -hmm. so much more so much more like mm -hmm. for example one seed of adlai it becomes mm -hmm. like a thousand wow i mean god's so good right telling you he provides that's a message in itself, right? Yeah, and he he actually said the basi Jesus in the Bible. It's like, why are you worrying? Look at the birds, guy, sheep, all the feathers. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. What more are you? Correct. Yeah, but <laughs> don't don't you know I love you, right? Yeah, mm. such a powerful message. But uh, you know what's nice uh, about the the IPs? I can talk okay, like this okay. with them. Uh huh. Wow. And they, and they, they just come take back it. with their stories. It's amazing. Uh, wow. Yeah. Nung, uh, you know, in Binukid or Bisaya, mm. they're like, you know, when they were young, they were part of the drop of the river, this one, and he goes like that, and the, the drops fall. That was me before. Wow. <laughs> oh, they have. Like, it's crazy fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm booking a flight there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm sold if we want to perpetuate this, you know, this beautiful work that you've done. Is this a, a replicable business model? Let's say if we bring this to Cordillera or we bring this to Guimaras or I don't know, like we're in other areas of the Philippines. Yeah. Yes, I, I mm -hmm. believe so. Because Caliandra is not just a high, uh, high upland tree. Right. Uh, It'll take longer to grow where, where there's no water or rain, steady mm. rain, but it'll grow. And then after two years, when the kogon's done, then you plant mm. the indigenous forest tree, whatever's of that, whatever's part right. of that region, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So you mga right. plants ng Palawan, iba dito, right? So you mm. have to be more aware also. In Very specific. Yeah. So that, okay. Yeah. So okay. that's, I mean, the model is a transformational business partnership where mm -hmm. um, and anybody can do this. It can be private. It can be government. Mm. Right. right. Where mm -hmm. they will provide, you know, good seedlings and good uh, production technology, harvesting, mm -hmm. quality control, mm -hmm. access to market. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have two questions to follow up. First mm -hmm. is how did the government because you mentioned the government, did they have play, play a very important role here because of you know permits, etc. Well, based on your cuento, they seem to be quite supportive. Yeah. They're very, very supportive, except for uh, it's taken years because of the change yeah. of administration. The mm. uh, um, the the foundation to be tax free for let's say you, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, it becomes um, let's say you donate to Hinaluban one hundred mm. pesos. I don't have to pay tax. percent or 12, yeah. And then mm. you don't have to pay. You know what I mean? The sales mm. tax. Gotcha. So yeah. It has to be uh, parang for donations talaga. I, I need Got the it. approval of the BIR yata. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. I've been with them for a long time. So we're really waiting for that. Because imagine if there's a CSR project uh, budget mm. of every company in the country. And mm -hmm. they have a budget for reforesting, the, you know, it's tax exempt. That's the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so we can do more faster. So. Parang it's an, merong ano to, they have a bit, it's a bit of an incentive because they it know is, that the whole of it. Not, if you're still not yet, it's been years, grab. Yeah. We were mm -hmm. applying for that. And we passed that, and then they give more requirements. So it, because even yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, yeah, super classic. <laughs> yeah, the main market I would say is bringing it to Manila, right? Is it is majority of the we, sales? Uh, in actually, Manila? there was already an order for the states and stuff, but we we hmm. said let's let's keep it here in the country first, the balance for now. Hmm. Oh, for now, until there's oversupply. Yeah. Well taken. Mm -mm. Are you, is that what you're saying? The yeah. the market took it well. Yeah. So they they were shocked and. But the funny thing is, because we can see the um, how it goes in the website store, let's say, you know, hinalabanstore.com, this one person would order one because it's all hearsay or social media, right? Try this, kaya, it's going to So 
they they appreciate it and then they talk to their friends or their family. Mm-hmm. Don't wanna eat rice, you eat this and this is from here. The rice is from China. So, <laughs> you know, and then it's good for you know, they're the best salesperson because they're they're it's word of mouth. Yeah, they feel it mm-hmm. when they eat it, right? Mm-hmm. And then um and then they um the next time they order, they order 10, <laughs> you know, like wow. that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they, they see the the value. Yeah. Right. The challenge right. is that um, a lot of lowlanders have been growing at Lai now because mm. of the popularity of right. the game. So uh, there's a flood of uh, 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 that they want to sell to Hinaluban, which they're not IPs, they're not Highland. Uh, they're not part of our program, they don't have our production technology. So we can't buy it because we're they're not part of our program so yeah, they exactly. try to sell it along themselves even cheaper ah. but the quality is not there because mm. it's slow land mm. it's, it's not mm. okay yeah. so beware of smaller corn. <laughs> Parang when it's uh well, it looks like a small corn but it's right white. Yeah. okay okay it's soft chewy mm-hmm. but a rice na bulb Got it. So I think also the whole story is more important. You know, that's why we need to support the 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 whole the whole story. Yeah, and know, I think that's the message that here. Really their their heirloom, indigenous, mm. you know, heritage mm-hmm. grain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's theirs, you know. Yeah. And the, the coffee. Uh, also, we we represented the Philippines in mm. the Specialty Coffee Association Global Expo in. Seattle, mm-hmm. and we got really very good reviews, excellent. Wow. So they were mm-hmm. actually so shocked that there was something nice coming out of the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inventor of the cupping scoring sheet and the color wheel mm. of coffee tasting and quality control, like that, standardized for specialty coffee. Mm-hmm. He gave us an excellent score and emailed me like right away saying. You know, I never knew that there was good coffee from the Philippines. It's like, mm. I think that the Philippines used to supply uh, three-fourths of Europe in the 1800s. No early, way. Early 19... I'm not sure, yeah. Really, yeah. 1800s, yeah. The whole Europe, tayo nagsu supply. Coffee? Oh, oh. Now we're not even oh, talking. Oh, what happened? We are the biggest producer. Kaya naman natin mag-produce. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it's it's Arabica that people buy. So second is Robusta yeah. and Liberic Excelsior. But this is the one that is sought after because you can actually enjoy mm-hmm. one sip after the other, one cup. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. The whole day you're thinking, you're in at meetings like that, or your coffee shop, you want mm. people to keep on ordering. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Light. It's not it's acidic. Light. You don't get ulcer. So it's actually healthier. Mm. And the higher the elevation, the mm. sweeter the cup. So the single oh, R wow. of this. So this one is from Malit Bog at 1,100 meters above sea level. Wow. So we have this low up to 1,4 right now. And then maybe by next year, we have 1,517. I'm not sure. Oh. The higher the, the higher the elevation, the sweeter the cups. You sweeter. don't put sugar. No more. Wow. So three in one is seventy <laughs> percent sugar. So it's you're actually the people. addicted to the sugar. Yeah. So mm. that's the problem, because of uh the poor here. The, you know they come. Mm. They said um they're poor. They don't have a job, and you can see it. And they're sick, right? Mm. So I'm like. But you have your land. What? Why don't mm-hmm. you plant vegetables? You know, kangkong, kamote, lilang mm-hmm. mm-hmm. There's no reason why. There's rain pa here, so they have mm-hmm. to be healthy. But see the the brainwashing of consumerism mm-hmm. that happens is mm-hmm. they they believe that three in one is better than their backyard coffee. They think that cup of noodles is feeding your child because it has dehydrated vegetables you know um they believe that uh okay lang let's have all this really heavy carbs or a lot of meat canned goods you know 
So it really affects people's health. It, you are what you eat, right? Mm -hmm. So they come with to me with all the metabolic syndromes, all right. Mm. And sometimes I have to cover for emergencies, and it's really crazy. They have everything mm. high sugar, and they're farmers in paradise. And they, so I said, this cannot be. We have to uh, make you grow your own vegetables. So at least first here in. In this farm, this farm is called Tuminugan, mm -hmm. which means paradise that sprung out of nothing by God. Because remember before wow. that, yeah, there was zero trees. All Kogo now it's forested with animals. Yeah. Wow. So our staff here who used to cook their <clears throat> tuyo and spam and salt, 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 and then ajinomoto, like that, like that. They had, you know, sexy but may bill bill. I'm like, you're so young. <laughs> What happened there? And they're eating that. I can smell it, no? Yeah. It. It's like you shouldn't be eating that. So their mm. food allowance was spent on Sari Sari store goods. I said, no, let's plant here. So now all their food is organic, you know, indigenous crops. And they're so sexy, no? All of them. <laughs> they're all healthy. They're, they don't get sick. And, you know, they're farmers, or, they, or we also have workout sessions for free. Wow, no and way. The high intensity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Encourage each other to do the right thing, right? Okay. I am, I am blown away by all of this. And I'm, I'm, super, I'm super proud of you. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I heard, well, your mom is so proud of you. <laughs> I think the last time I saw her, she was always, you know, she's always raving about you anyway. But now hearing, hearing all of these in, well, as, as in person as possible at this time, I, I'm super, super grateful just to know someone like you. And um, I'm sure in behalf of the community to thank you for everything you've been doing. And um, yeah, I hope you still find that, you know, that drive to, to keep going and the world needs people like you. <laughs> so well, join join the tribe, please. So I am. Oh, sign me up. Sign me up. I'm, I'm gonna be part of it. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's it's also a good time to to be aware. Now is the time to be to change and reevaluate our habits. Um, everything from like you said, you know, from being a consumerist to actually producing. Thank you. Bye. This was great. Take care and uh, see you. Bye. See you too. You see my mom? Okay. I will send her, I'll let her know we had this lovely okay. chat.